So for today, we're going to be looking at the new exotic helmet that the hunters got for this season. It is the uh, Terachnid's facade. I don't know how to say this name. It's a pretty cool helmet. Um, we're going to be looking at how what it does first, and then we'll be looking at how it looks. Uh, shaders, because I have quite a bit of selection for you guys right now. And then after that, I'll give you my example set that I made. Usually I make two, two sets if it's only one exotic, but since this is the new exotic, I only made one. That's what I usually do with new exotics. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really appreciate it. We're going to be making the exotics individually, and then I'll make another video making fashion around the new exotics, how I usually do. So again, I uh, appreciate you guys like liking, comment, all that stuff. Uh, the video is doing like, or the channel is doing really, really well right now. So I really appreciate you guys and let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to look at what it actually does. It's called Acrobat's Focus. Gain woven mail when activating grapple. Increase flinch resistance while woven mail is active. So my initial reaction to this exotic was kind of disappointing considering it was more of a PvP uh, exotic when I first saw it because they really just showcased it in PvP. But now that we actually have it, the fact that we get gain woven mail when we activate grapple is really cool. Unfortunately, you are stuck with gra uh, grapple, the grenade, which is not really that useful in like high end activity for me personally. Like, cool, I can grapple somewhere so I can get killed in the air. That's how I personally feel about it. But the fact that we get woven mail is actually pretty decent. So for me, I'm like, ah, like the fact that it increases flinch resistance, I don't give a slight fuck about that. If I'm going to be real with you guys, that is a PVP perk. And the only reason why I'm like even thinking like this actually will be good in PVE is because it gains woven mail when activating grapple. But it does mean I'm stuck with, with a grapple. So I don't know. There's there's positive and negatives to this. Uh, We'll see. I still have to use it a little bit more, which is why you're not seeing like actual footage of me playing with this. But yeah, I don't want to say it's like straight up garbage because again, woven mail is super, super good. It's just I my issue comes with grapple, I guess, because I don't like grappling in like actual gameplay. I much prefer the other grenades that it has because they're way better, to be quite honest. But as for how it looks, I think it looks super cool. I think like there's the only issue I have with it is it's a little exaggerated. And what I mean by that is uh, like when you see it from the side, you'll see that it just hangs out a little too much. So like it should be top heavy. Uh, that's like a stupid reason for me to like nitpick at it. But it's just I, I can't help it. This is who I am. Uh, I still think it looks super cool. Definitely going to be cool with like your tactical looks. I think uh, some Fallen theme sets is going to look super cool with it as well, because this is obviously a Fallen theme. As for how it shaders, I think it shaders really well. Be aware that I have way more shaders than usual for this for this video specifically, because A, I added two new shaders to the, to the rotation because people kept that. Well, one person asked for more shaders and it just has been bugging me because it's like I should put more shaders. And then I brought two shaders in in case the exotic has a glow, which this one does, obviously. So I like it with Ancient Wisdom. Ancient Wisdom looks super, super cool with it. But all of the other shaders look really, really cool with it. I'm not going to like go individually like all of them because that would take forever. Because obviously, like, what am I going to add to it? Like, oh, I think the red looks cool. I think this looks cool. like whatever. It doesn't matter. But the ones that I really, really do like would have to be like Ancient Wisdom. I think that one looks really cool with it. I think uh, Bisnian looks cool, but at the same time, I don't like the brown uh, and Cryptic Insignia. I really, really like this shader. It's like one of my favorite shaders. Unfortunately, it does turn uh, plate armor into like white. So I would probably go for the other Cryptic shader, the one from uh, Flawless. That one's way better. I think it turns it all black. So as for the two shaders that turn off the glow, it's going to be Testudo and Kaiden Slate or Chidden Slate, however you want to say it. I did not know Testudo actually turned off the shaders. I that was new. Uh, thank you, Crips, for actually showing me that. And I don't remember what video it is. If I can remember, I'll have it up right now. But you you saved my life because I have another Testudo look that I have for my Titan, and it looks fucking cool. And I think I actually showcased it in one of the one of my videos. Uh, I'll have it up right now if I remember. But I did I did at least put a slight picture of it of my new look but you know what it was yeah i remember it was for the new exotic ornaments that's where i posted it um 
Yeah, I think it looks super cool. I think Kaiden Slate looks so fucking metal. I definitely would recommend that one if you're going for like a tactical look because then you can turn all that off and have like the like the uh like the night the goggle things. You can have all that just showcasing and I think that looks super cool. Or you can go Testudo if you're going for like another color, gold specifically. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the shaders. As for the example set, I ended up going with New Monarchy for the shader, specifically Regalia. I love this shader. I am infatuated with the shader. Let me just be real with you guys. I love this shader. It's I'm so happy I got it like last week because again, it's one of my favorite shaders in the game. So for this one, it's your it's your basic tactical look that I've made in multiple videos. Uh, I didn't want to overthink this one too much because again, uh, you're literally wearing night vision goggles, but fallen themed. Like you what the hell do you expect me to do like a like a royal theme no like i want immediately went with the tactical look just because it just makes the most sense uh unfortunately destiny 2 is down right now so i can't like show you like in game like all the pieces but if i already mention a few i would literally just tell you deep explorer stuff from duality will be really really good the diamonds born strides or specifically the diamonds born gear would will be really really good as well the Krista Kreen stuff, I think the arms and the chest piece are going to be the only, well, I guess you can use the boots as well. Uh, definitely not the cloak though. I don't, I don't think the cloak is good. Well, you do get a backpack, but it's not my, it's not my, one of my favorites. And then we have other pieces from other stuff, like specifically the, the EDZ armor is pretty good. The psionic stalker cloak, if you have it, that's also really good, especially if you turn off the glow. There's so many pieces that you can go make into tactical looks that I'm not going to go through all of them, but those are like the few that I can tell you off the top of my head that you can really mix and match a lot of the things. Like specifically for me, the, I would probably combine the psionic speaker arms and then the uh, the EDZ cloak. I think those two would be really good because uh, the EDZ cloak has like netting and the arm also has netting, like a bit of netting on the right, right arm, I think. Yeah, the right arm. So that would be really really cool which i do showcase in another video which i'll be working on right now but that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below these videos are supposed to be short they're just to introduce the armor set or the exotic and then after that we can really start spooshing with it because i really really like this helmet i think this helmet looks super super cool and the fact that i can change the glow is or turn it off essentially is just super super cool so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later